And if Democrats don't get their you-know-what together, he's certainly going well, to get reelected. Here's my you question know, for you. Here's my question for you because Trump you talk Raymond about... You, you talk about... I am not, Judge. Nobody no, is... I, no, oh, yeah. Did you just point at me? Yeah. Listen, I don't have Trump God. derangement. Let me tell you what I have. Okay. I have a lot of... I'm tired of people starting a conversation with Mexicans or liars and rapists. I'm That's Judge Janine Pirro from The Five triggering the views Whoopi Goldberg by stating the obvious. Welcome to Nerk News, I'm Nerkish, and this interview might go down as one of the best episodes of The View, or one of the worst, according to Megan McCain. You oh, just Matt, said you're not an ideologue. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not. And I am in law let enforcement. Me, let me ask you the question. It's right and do wrong. you think um, do you think Donald Trump embraces and embodies conservative ideology? Remember, you know, he used to be uh, have a different position on pro-choice. Uh, he's imposing tariffs. He's against globalism. Do you think he is an ideologue that is faithful to conservative policies? You know, I'm not here to talk about what Donald Trump is and isn't. But you I talk about him all the time. No, you got no, to answer the question. You, talk about you, the okay. you want to talk about Donald Trump. You tell me what metric in this country is worse off. Unemployment is lower than it's been in 50 years. Minorities, Hispanics, African Americans have jobs. Hate, 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 hate crimes are worse and, off. And wait a minute. The GD GDP under Obama was barely one. We're going up to four. So you want to talk about no, hate crimes? Yeah, I, 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 tell I about fought metric, for a law I, for hate crimes. I also you, think it's... Important. You know, you got to love how it's Anna Navarro asking this question. A person who's a rhino in more ways than one asking someone about what it means to be conservative. A good rebuttal would have been asking her to define the word because while Trump may not embody it, he certainly has done a lot more to advance it than any president in my lifetime. There have been a lot of people in office that I didn't agree with, but I have never, ever seen anything like this. I've never seen anybody whip up such hate. I've never seen anybody be so dismissive. And I, and clearly you don't watch the show, so you don't know that I don't suffer from that. What I suffer from is the inability to figure out how to fix this. That's my issue. But one of the things that you talk about a lot, and I'm curious about it, is the deep state. How long has the deep state been there, and who's running it? Well, the, the, I want to answer your question because you get you had to ask oh, no, you a question. You had I, I, your I, opening statement, which was how horrible it is that Donald Trump no, is talking no, no, about all you, of these I'm people. Sorry, you know what? That's I think what it's you said. You said, well, you know you said horrible that it, when it was it's okay. shouldn't be here end it's, up murdering the children of American citizens. You know what's horrible? What's when, horrible when the president of the United States whips up people to beat the hell out of people. Say goodbye. It's amusing how their reactions to Trump are somehow Trump's fault. It kind of reminds me of the drama from a few years ago where a Vox reporter blamed Fox News for liberals' obsession with Fox News. Like it was Bill O'Reilly and Sean Hannity's fault that Jon Stewart and Colbert talked about their shows nonstop. Now, to her credit, Judge Janine went on air to clarify things a bit the next day. Uh, Whoopi got angry, and what, what the viewing audience, the television audience, didn't see is that they, they popped up the cover of my book as she pushed off the desk, you know, unplugged her, uh, uh, her mic, and then stormed off the set. So I'm there saying, you know, I'm in television. I said, I don't think the segment's over, but I think she just left, Janine. I think it's over. So I take off my own mic, and then I, you have to go down the stairs. Mm -hmm. I go down the stairs, and she's right there. And I said something like, Whoopi, you know, I spent my whole life fighting for victims because we had talked about rapes and all that. And she said to me, as she, she got up in my face, and I read somewhere someone said, well, she, you should have kept walking. I couldn't walk by her. She was at the bottom of the stairs. She says, F you, F you. And then I, I said, did you just say F you? And then she said, get that. F out of this building, get the F out of this building. So I'm there and I'm like, uh, okay. And you didn't do anything to provoke anybody there? No, you can ask the people that I was with. I mean, she, she was nuts. Well, sounds about like any interaction with liberals to me. Way to prove you don't have Trump derangement syndrome, Whoopi. You really showed Judge Janine and the country that you aren't a hysterical lunatic consumed by blind hatred. You know, prior to this interview, I'd always kind of assumed that there was a bit of reality TV on the show and they were playing up these reactions for drama, but it sounds like that clearly wasn't the case here and that these ladies actually are as delusional as they appear to be. Which makes the whole thing a bit more fun to watch, if you ask me. But let me know what you think. Does Whoopi have Trump derangement syndrome? Or was she just tired of people saying all that nonsense she was blabbing about? 
Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching.